good Friday afternoon, everybody. May 4th. May the 4th be with you. Jeremy Crosby Kicking here. Kicking it off with it. Andrew is here. I told you I would. I know. I told you I would. Happy Friday, everybody. Woo. Happy May 4th. Woo. And yes, you Star Wars fans out there, Woo. may the 4th be with you. Favorite Star Wars character, go. Oh, it's too long. Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford. <laughs> Han Solo? Han Solo. Good old Han. I'm a I'm like R2, I, I'm a R two D two fan. I can't yeah I can't really but there's I, a lot of good ones. I'm thinking also a Vader fan can't go wrong. The evil man he's good. Classic yeah. Classic yeah Hans I don't know why Han Solo just seemed Han Solo's like good. he seemed personal. Are you gonna to me. go see I don't know. Han Solo the hmm. movie that's coming out this year? Um, we kind of discussed that. I was gonna say per our conversation that yeah. we had this morning I'm pretty sure you know the answer to that. <clears throat> and plus I wait for my movie guy to go see it Preston. Oh, okay. Who I, for Preston? Yeah, he, he was under the weather this week, although I did catch up with him. He did see the uh, new Avengers movie. What do you think? He liked it. Yeah, he did I like heard it. a lot of good things about it. So you've got uh, you got that you know, for next week. a lot week. of good things. I want to go see that. Mm-hmm. He can tell you a little bit about that next Sounds week. Sounds good. But, uh, yeah, no, I you know, I, I know, like I said to you earlier, the uh, we were just talking about. Because it's Star Wars Day. We talked about th- Star yeah, Wars. Yeah, well, that's bit. what started it, and yeah. we were talking about some other uh well, make but what'd you call him fantasy fantasy yeah and i was saying for everyone <laughs> to know and hate on jeremy he is not a harry potter fan <laughs> Just don't send so. hate me don't send it. <laughs> please that's what got us started on the topic <laughs> he was defending everybody <laughs> andrew was defending defending the world the harry, against me the, I guess. the potter the yeah. potter heads Either way, yeah. you know, maybe someday when mm-hmm. when Lily gets older, certainly I'm I'm sure I'll see it. But till then, you're not excited. <laughs> no, I just can't, I have nobody sold me on making it. One just watch the first movie, then I'll be hooked. Just watch it. Let me know. I what watch you parts think. of it and I no, just, I can't get sit it. Sit down up. and watch the full thing. Yeah, open mind. I well, yes, I will. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, fine. No, nope, we're moving on. What do we got today? <laughs> Jeez, oh, uh, bear. Upset, upset. Uh, I'm triggered. Uh, right. <laughs> I'll apologize to Andrew in the break. Uh, coming up on the show today, we have a busy show for you. I know we say that all the time, but it's, busy. it's still busy. Busy it times here. Mm-hmm. We're going to take you out to the farmer's market. Uh, first one of the year happened yesterday. Hopefully you had a chance to make it out there. We'll talk about that uh, coming up and uh, more. Jeez, turn sorry, that sorry, off. Sorry, sorry. Unbelievable. Sorry. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> then uh, coming up in our digest today, just in case you missed it, the stories we worked this past week. Very busy week here on uh, Fitch, uh, in Fitchburg and here on Talking Fitchburg, so we'll get you updated with that. And wrap up the show with a little P, B, and J. And tell you more about the fourth. <laughs> the fourth. Star Wars fans. And I would say I'm a Star Wars fan for the old, for the first set of movies. Everything else, hit or miss for me. That's all I'm saying. All right, let's move forward. He, he owes me more apologies now. <laughs> I'm only doing this because it makes Andrew a happy guy. <laughs> let's take you out to that Fitchburg Farmer's Market. Yes, the first one uh, started yesterday. Andrew had a chance to get out there and check it out. Uh, lots of uh, lots of interesting stuff out there. Uh, I There's like some, all these some, pickled. Uh, new things I haven't seen before. Uh, Wait, what? You'll see a little bit later, but what's the plant thing like? The tall tower. Yeah, that's one new thing I've seen is tower planting. So the oh, the, out, the he's got four lights that surround it, and he's got different. If you can read it, I have up close. There's all every single hole is a different plant in it, so it's pretty cool. So that's new that I haven't seen down there before. Yeah, I've I put it in uh, a little bit later here in our uh, guest segment. We'll take you back out there, talk to Steve Leverance, uh, organizer of of you this see event. Tanya, and, our favorite, yeah, down there. I, I heard you guys talking. <laughs> Where where's that little guy? Yeah, that <laughs> little guy. That was you. I'm like, are you referencing to Jeremy? Yeah, like, yeah, I took it out. I didn't want to leave it in there. I took that piece out oh, of there, that but. Was funny. Uh, yeah. yeah, some familiar faces. Uh, there's uh, Farmer uh, John. That, Farmer that John. Che- yeah, he's, cheese curds, man. He's famous for that uh, that cheese out there. Some plants. Oh, that's good. Uh, it was mentioned that not all the vendors can make it. There's the thing that Andrew yeah. was talking about. Big tower plant. That's cool. I was trying to stall for this. I saw this at the business expo too, mm-hmm. and I didn't have a chance to get up close mm-hmm. to it. Yeah, so those rods, so like cool. on the left there, that's a light that faces it. But you can see there's oh, lettuce. There's does it basil, spin around it? I don't know if it spins. I think that's why there's four. So I think it's like that top thing is just a timer. 
to have it on or off throughout the day so it can be in like your like hydroponics in your basement or something hmm. but yeah. grow indoor veggies pretty sweet well either way this uh now runs through uh october so now through october Good every summer. thursday 3 to 6 p.m at agora stop on by and get your farmer's market on folks mm. good times out there mm -hmm. all right moving forward uh community uh, vacancies uh or committee vacancies community vacancies and you <laughs> why you let me do this every day i don't know uh Committee vacancies. The city is accepting applications for citizens interested in mayoral appointments to various city committees. Openings are available at the Board of Review, Library Board, Tree Advisory, Zoning Board of Appeals, and Bicycle Committee. For consideration, complete the online application by heading out to the website FitchburgWI.com, and you'll get it submitted. All right, Verona Road, uh, there's a traffic shift coming up in the uh, construction piece there. So wanted to give you a heads up on this, and it says uh, in a few weeks, all Verona Road uh, traffic, that's US 18-151 or 18 traffic, will shift to the east side of the highway between County PD and McKee Road and Raymond Road in Fitchburg. The exact dates and times of the switch will be shared as the upcoming construction update, or in the upcoming construction updates. We do those here on the show, by the way, every Monday. As you can see from the picture, the northbound traffic will travel on the newly uh, completed interchange ramps, and southbound traffic will travel on the current northbound lanes. Nighttime lane closures and tr uh, traffic shift will occur in advance of the major switch. Please be alert for the changing traffic patterns and obey the posted speed limits, especially when they make that change. Again, we'll keep you updated as this uh, piece gets closer, but uh, there is your uh, big heads up, and I remember that was the kind of the big key this year was that uh, traffic shift, among other things, but something to uh, watch for here uh, coming up. All right, turning your attention to this weekend, tomorrow specifically, you're going to want to stop out for the uh, Fitchburg Solar Celebration and Tour. Yeah, it was rescheduled uh, because uh, the sun wasn't shining and a few other things, but I'm going to say it was the sun. <laughs> Blame the sun, right? Join us on May 5th to celebrate the completion of the Fitchburg installation of more than 1,000 solar electricity electric panels on our four city buildings. Fitchburg currently has the largest solar uh, electric array of any local government in Wisconsin. We look forward to celebrating our accomplishment. Come learn about the project, talk to a solar expert, eat some cake, and see a demonstration of real-time electric pro uh, production. View the solar panels on uh, City Hall, Public Works, Maintenance Facility, uh, and Fitchburg residents. Find out more information, you can hit up the website, website fitchburgwi.gov, or Andrew, They'll have you and I uh, made a little video for this. Yep, that shows uh, kind of an overview from every time we had Erica on here talking about everything you want to know about these solar panels. So mm -hmm. and it's good because there's you can't see all of them, so you kind of got oh, even to I, go I, on I, a I little. I took the uh, treks up to the roofs for all of y'all so you can see them. He took his solar bike and uh, went up on the roof <laughs> and <My> solar bike. <laughs> Just went right up there. Went up there. Had to wait for a sunny day, right? I did. All right, yeah. Hopefully you can make it that. If you can't, don't worry. We got you covered. We'll cover the whole event. We'll bring you a piece of that here on Talking Fitchburg and as a show later on this month. Woo! Bucky on Parade unveiling happens on Monday. Woo! Final reminder here that the unveiling uh, is happening in two locations. So you're uh, two. Two. <laughs> you two. can head out to Agora, uh, uh, where Fitchburg, Bucky on Parade, or at McKee Farms. So Agora, Fitchburg or mckee farms park either way stop on by it's going to be wonderful each bucky statue will be themed with uniquely craft uh, by an artist from uh, all over the midwest region and how many are they putting on there 85 85 yes total. so both though so there's two events in fitchburg happening mm -hmm. both at a lot i mean all 85 are being unveiled all at once across dane county but uh, at least in fitchburg you can head to either either one mm -hmm. so it's gonna be good We'll bring you some of that coverage on uh, Tuesday of next week. All right. Uh, the 28th Annual Wisconsin Law Enforcement Memorial Ceremonies next Friday. Can't believe it's already here. The 20th no. Annual uh, Ceremony will take place at the, uh, the WLEM Memorial Site located on the state capitol grounds, corner of Pickney and Mifflin Streets at noon. We'll be up there. Well, you guys will be up there. I'm going to be yep. gone, unfortunately. But you yep. guys will be up there and uh, covering this event. Uh, we like to uh, bring you the full event, uh, as it were. Uh, so uh, if you can't make it up there, we'll bring you a piece of both on Talking Fitchburg as a show later on this month. All right, Andrew, that's all we can do for headlines. I'm out. That's it. Sounds no good. more. No more. That's it. 
We're going to take a quick break. Coming up next, we're opening up the Pitcher Digest with just in case you missed it. It's next right here on Talking Pitchbird. <laughs> 